Well, back again and I've climbed about a hundred odd steps and then right on top of the Bandle Church and uh, uh, well, I had to find a quiet corner to do this recording because uh, if you see if I just stand up there are lots of people around but if you see this is the main chapel of Our Lady of Bandle and, uh, this, and if you see far out there between the trees you can see the entire church complex and you can see a bit of the Ganga river yes because we are right on the banks of river Ganga this is where the beautiful church is located and place of prayer Our Lady of Happy Voyage that is what the Bandal church the lady is referred to okay now let's get to the poem right now if you look at the sonnets I'm I read it once out for you, so I'm sure you have it clear in your minds. Uh, it is a sonnet, 14 lines, and there are three quatrains, right? Uh, three little stanzas, four lines each, and it ends with the rhyming couplet, right? So if you look at the first four lines, let me not to the marriage of true minds amid impediments. Love is not love, which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Now in the first quatrain, uh, the key message is what love is not, right? What is what is what love is not? Yes, love is not love which changes. Love is something which is steadfast, because love is a union of two minds and two souls. So nothing can break this, nothing can wreck this, and everything around remains unaffected by all the obstacles that come on the way of couples who are in love or love between parents and children, love between brothers and sisters, love between friends. Uh, it cannot be altered, it cannot be removed. Now if you see these double words, it's all for two people or a family in love, right? Love is not love. Again, two love together which alters when, in, when it alteration finds. When there is an, there are changes that take place, changes in in uh, relationships, changes in where people are, changes in age and looks, and changes in uh, uh, proximity, uh, but it doesn't change. Somebody who lives, they're together once and now they're living apart, love doesn't change. Someone who, who fell in love when they were, people who fell in love when they were 20, now when they're 60, they don't change. So or bends with the remover to remove, bends with the remover to remove, it cannot, you cannot erase the meaning of love, you cannot erase the emotion of love once it is settled in one's heart and soul, right? And he, he's talking about the permanence and the eternity of love, and that is in the first quote. And so love is not anything that can diminish and be erased. If you look at the second quatrain, Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is a star to every wandering bark whose worth unknown, although his height be taken. Now these, this quatrain is what love is. What is love? Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark. It's omnipresent. It is strong. It is steadfast. It cannot be blown away by the storms and obstacles and barriers that come in one's life. Yes, it's, it's, it's like the uh, ever fixed mark and it's like the star. Star is the northern star. It's a metaphor that is being used here of the northern star, which is, and if you look at the wandering bark, the synecdoche, for ships and boats. So sailors at the time when before the compass was uh, discovered, used to follow the northern star because it was the pole star that was pole star that was constant in the sky. So follow the pole star and they would know which direction the boat was going. So love is as constant as a pole star because it doesn't, it cannot be moved from its path. It cannot be shaken from where it is embedded. Whose worth uh, unknown, although his height be taken, although his height be taken, you know that the connection always remains no matter where you are, where, where the love is, where people have gone, 
where uh, we have moved away from and the worth of this pole star no matter how high it is so difficult to reach right sailors can't dream about reaching it but wherever they look in that open darkness they can see it and they're led by it and that is the beauty of love like the pole star the metaphor now if you look at the third quatrain love's not time's fool personification right the rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come love alters not with his brief hours and weeks but bears it out even to the edge of doom so again what love is not love is not something that can be destroyed by time it is not something which uh, which is which uh, loses its uh, uh, value love yes it is eternal though there can be physical attrition but the emotion of love that rests within the heart and soul of people of human beings of us you and me yes that cannot be altered it lives on yes love cannot be destroyed emotion that lives on unchanged the body may perish but love lives on in the soul that is eternal and uh, uh, time cannot you know time flies right time destroys things with time things rust away fade away but not love not this strong emotion that is eternal right with within his bending sickle's compass come love alters not with his brief hours and weeks yes so that is the value of love that no matter uh, how time flies months fly away one uh forgets probably the proximity that one had with the person one loves but the entire memory and the emotion that one had uh, gathers and carries within oneself is something that lives forever so time cannot destroy this very emotion and if we come to the couplet it is if this be error and upon me proved i never rich nor no man ever loved and that is a poet's affirmation probably a conviction of the poem he sort of is issuing a challenge right if you think this is wrong if you can prove to me this is wrong then i have never written ever in my life and no man has ever loved that kind of strong conviction and challenge he issues out that this is a truth that can never be proven wrong by any book so probably the the essence of love there are many stories of when shakespeare wrote the sonnet and the relationships etc etc but i'm not going into the historical background of it we just take love as a very emotion the value of how beautiful you know, how ageless how pure how unbroken this emotion is and that is what we keep in mind it is as beautiful as where i'm sitting in the bangal church where lady of happy voyage looks down upon all of us where there is peace where there is happiness where people come with hope yes place of hope right and hope like love is eternal it does not but let's equate it with hope and the church brings that hope the temple brings that hope a, a mosque a gurudwara a synagogue the monastery it brings us hope and that hope which is eternal is same as shakespeare's love that is eternal another look at the church around the premises is beautiful and the ganga again everywhere right thank you for this one i'll go into a little more detail in about the poem and show you the stations of the cross for conclusion thank you be safe